After you, sir. All right. So this is what we call the workshop, right? This is the workshop of Bear Brook Game Meets here. Right. So we've taken a look at some of the different animals. And uh, so what exactly happens here inside the workshop? Well, we package all of the products and make our dinners and sea pies and mm -hmm. hamburger patties and sausages and uh, all of the, the shop here. different delicious products. And a little bit later in the show, we'll actually head into the store and take a look at all of the packaged products. And I think I'm even going to get the chance to taste some wild boar stew, which I've never tasted before. What can I expect from that, do you think? It'll be super excellent. I'm yeah. sure you're going to enjoy it. So on the weekends is when you actually do the majority of your slicing and, and packaging, right? Which is why it's a little quiet here this morning. Yeah, Mondays is the quietest day here, uh, always. <laughs> understandable, understandable. So what have we got going on today here? Right now she's packaging sausages, mm -hmm. different kinds. What are you packing there right now? Wild boar sausage. And what is this? That's a ham sulza loaf. That's a jellied ham, we call it. It's a German specialty that we make. and. The Europeans enjoy that very much. You've got quite a few German specialties here. Why do you why do you choose to offer that? Well, my background is from Germany. I was born and raised over there. Yeah, so it makes sense. <laughs> Bring a little bit of your heritage home. That's right. That's where I learned my first cooking experience from my grandmother. Really? What was the first thing that she ever taught you to cook? <laughs> All kinds from pea soup to beans and kale and a lot of things you wouldn't even know over here. <laughs> well, now we do because you've introduced us. And how have people reacted to the different um, recipes that you've brought from around the world? It's been uh, very, very good to us here with all the different recipes. Far beyond what I could have ever imagined, people would appreciate and enjoy the different things. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think enough people get the chance to enjoy a wild game, especially it being so fresh, the way that you have prepared it here with uh, no preservatives. We're going to a lot of the farmers markets and thereby getting introduced to an awful lot of people, literally thousands of people, and as a result of having met us there, tried our products, they call us uh, and deliver to their homes. We have free delivery to their homes with orders over $75. Really? Anywhere in the Ottawa area, yes. Mm. And why was it important to you to not add byproducts into, into what you're offering here? Well, the trend is healthier living. Uh, far more people today are requesting uh, hormone-free uh, meats or products of any kind to really uh, yeah. to uh, enjoy in their diet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one last surprise for you. We head through the doors. I'm sorry, Sharon. <laughs> We've got peacocks back here. <laughs> Why, why have you chose? Because you can't eat peacocks, right? Well, you could eat them, but uh, we don't. We just love those birds for their color, and all our customers that come here enjoy seeing them. And, uh, Go ahead and take a look at them. They're just lovely. And act some of them have actually lost their feathers now, right? Yeah, this is the time of year where they're changing their feathers, so they're not looking in the fullest bloom like you do in the summertime, but... They're That's nature for you. They're so pretty. And when you see them with the, the feathers all stand out, yeah. they're lovely. And then I love that you have this little jar of feathers here as well. Look at the gorgeous coloring on them. Thank you yeah. so much for showing us a tour of the workshop there, Walter. And coming up next, we're going to head inside and actually get the chance to taste some of the meat that's all coming up on CTV Morning Live. <laughs>